In today's tutorial, just as a continuation of what we have been doing previously, we have three categorical variables, regions, income groups, and inequality categories. And the outcome variable that we are going to be performing an X-ray upon is the Gini coefficient. I want to sincerely apologize to my Olean audience that I may not generally attend to all stata questions. So if you have any queries involving stata or any of his commands, please use any of the avenues I'm showing you right now on my screen. Please, before you watch this video, I will encourage you to click on the playlist and watch my video on tips to building a panel data in Stata. That video will give you a lot of information and will also help you to understand what we are going to do today. So back to today's tutorial, we'll be showing how we can compute average unit coefficients across the regions, across the income categories, and across the inequality categories. I will also show you how you can obtain Gini statistic that is specific to a subcategory in reference to another categorical variable. Please know that when you have a panel data, try to include categorical variables in the data. This will bring out the different heterogeneities in that data and be able to convey a lot of specifics that is inherent in your panel. So it is not enough for you to just to start running your regression. You need to show some interesting descriptive analysis that is peculiar to your sample. So if you are ready, please load your data and let's play with some bar charts. So here's the data editor. Like I said earlier on, we have three categories here, region, income group, and the Gini category. And um, overall, I have 141 countries. So this is a very, uh, is a large panel data. As usual, I have my do file on with the commands already written that will be executed. And in my usual practice, I have my log file on to track everything I'm going to do in this tutorial. So first thing is to execute the xtsetcid command to prepare stata to run panel data analysis. So I'm going to highlight this and execute. So this is the outcome of that. So we are ready to run panel data analysis. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to generate a bar chart showing the average value of the Gini coefficients across the region. I'm going to use two approaches in this tutorial. I will use the menu approach and I will use the do file approach. The menu approach is to show you how you can maneuver through the menu interface from the graphics option. So you click on graphics, bar chart. I've been here before, so I'm going to click out here to reset. So you can always click this button to reset whatever you've done before. Now everything has been reset. By default, the statistic is checked to reflect the average value. But when you open the drop down menu, you can select any statistic of your choosing. But for this tutorial, I only want to talk about the average value of the Gini index. So I leave it at main and under variables, I indicate Gini. For categories, I'm dealing only with the regions now. So I open this box and I click on region. For properties, I open here and I simply indicate the size by which the, re the region should be written. So I click in small. I click accept. Then I come to bars. Under bars, I check the label with bar height because I want the statistic to be written at the top of the bars. And under properties, I open that and for size, I indicate small. Every other thing here is fine. I click accept. For the y axis, for the title of the y axis, I type in average Gini coefficient. And for properties here, I indicate small. I click accept. You can change any other thing that you want, the color, anything, you can change it to your, to your preference. Under titles, for the entire plot, I type in Gini coefficients and regions. As you master the Stata interface, you can include any other specifics of your choosing. Every other thing here looks fine. I click OK. So, we, so here we have the plot for the bar charts involving the seven regions arranged alphabetical order and we have the statistics reflected at the top of the bars. So at a glance, you can see which region has a high inequality on average and which region has a low inequality on average. So you can say a lot of things using comparative analysis just with this diagram. Okay, now in the Stata um, interface here, this is a command that was generated when I used the menu approach. And because I don't want to come back clicking on the graphics menu again, I'm going to copy this command to my do file and modify it for other commands I'm going to execute. So I've copied it. I'm going to my do file. I have the commands already, but I need to show you what I did. So I'm pasting and I'm going to arrange it back. Be careful. 
because theta will not take it kindly if your code is wrong. And you can observe that having pasted it on my do file, the command is really long from one end to the end of my page. But theta allows you to break, so I'm going to break it with three slashes. One, two, three. You can see it turns to green, so that means I did it right. But be careful where and how you slash. If you don't do it correctly, it will return an error code for you. Okay, so let's rerun this to see whether I did it correctly. Good, it's nicely done. So now I'll be using the code to modify to every other uh, work I'm going to do going forward. So let's see how the Gini coefficients phase across income groups. So all I need to do is to come here and modify region to income group. And the way I'm going to type in my income group must be the way it is in my data editor. And I come here to where title is and I change regions to income groups. When I run that command, let's see what we have. So I've highlighted it now and I click run. So now you can see that Gini coefficient and income groups is reflecting here. And below here, you can see the four uh, categories of the income groups, high income down to upper middle income. And on top of the bars, the different coefficients are reflected. So again, you can make a lot of comparative analysis in your thesis or in your manuscript concerning the outcome of these bar charts. So lastly, let me show you the bar chart reflecting the various inequality categories. So I type in here Jenny Cards, and for the title, I modify this one to inequalities. So you can see the essence of having a do file. I don't have to go back to the menu. I'll be running the commands. So I've highlighted this. I just click run. So now you can see across the various inequality categories from very low inequality to very high inequality, you can see the average statistic at the top of the bars. So again, you can say a lot of things about the outcome of this bar chart. So that is done. I'm going to show you how you can sort the Gini statistics in ascending or descending order. Let me take you back to what we obtained when we generated for the regions. This is the Gini coefficient as obtained for the regions. On the x-axis, the regions are arranged alphabetically according to their names. But now we want to sort the Gini statistics according to the statistic itself, from the least to the highest, so that at a glance we can know which region has the lowest inequality and which one has the highest inequality. So to do that, I will show you the menu option and what you have to do. You go back to graphics, you click on bar charts, everything is still the way it is, you come to categories, then under properties, you open it up, then under sort, you indicate Gini. That is, you are sorting by Gini. By default, you are sorting in ascending order. So don't check this box. If you check this box, you'll be sorting in a descending order, which I don't want. Well, that depends on your preference anyway. So I'm not going to check this box. I click accept and I click OK. So here, the Gini index is sorted in an ascending manner. So here we can see that countries located in ECA regions have lower inequalities and countries located in LAC regions have higher inequalities. So like I showed you, you can copy the code to your do file, modify, and use it to display any other statistics that you want. Lastly, I'm going to show you how you can generate statistics that is specific to a subcategory. For instance, I want to know the average coefficient for EAP region. So this is what I have to do. Using the menu approach, I go to graphics, bar charts. So let me reset this. I click on R. So I have reset the entire menu. I come here, I indicate Gini. Under categories, I click on the group. I indicate region and I indicate income group. Then if in, this is where the specifics comes in. If in EAP region, I type in EAP the way it is in my data editor. Every other thing is as the way before. Then here, label with bar heights, I indicate that. And I want the size to be small because already that is my preference. The position should be outside. I check that. I indicate that. I click accept. For the y-axis, I type average Gini coefficient. Under properties, I indicate small. Color, you can use any color you want. By default, is blue, so I indicate black. I click accept. For titles, here I can say Gini coefficient and EAP region because I'm referring specifically to EAP region now. So again, you can modify this to suit your purpose, to suit your data, to suit your research. 
size, I can indicate medium small, and color, I can indicate black. I click accept. So now you can see here, we are dealing specifically with the EAP region because we have indicated the strict observations should be from EAP region. Every other thing is fine, so we click OK. So now you can see, these are the various statistics for countries located in EAP regions, but they are classified under high income up to upper middle, up to upper middle income countries. So at a glance, you can say a lot about countries located in EAP region who are classified as either high income or low income in relation to their various Gini coefficients or Gini statistics. Copy out this command the way I showed you before to your do file and you can modify. So what I showed you is EAP over income group. Now let me show you EAP over Gini categories. I have the command already done here. I highlight and I execute it. So now we can see in relation to EAP region across the various inequality categories these are the statistics. So for countries uh, classified as having very low inequality, their average statistic is 0.33. For countries uh, identified as having high inequalities in the EAP region, their statistics is 0.547. So you can make a lot of comparative analysis even within a subcategory in your sample. So I hope by now you can generate bar charts to suit your study to convey a lot of information that is inherent in your sample. Graphics convey lots of information than words. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please share the link of my video with your friends and your colleagues. Send me your comments and your likes. Subscribe to my channel. Stay with me, don't go away. I'm going to show you how to use histograms to show the various informations inherent in your panel data.